Migration has always existed and the reasons for people to migrate are sometimes different and sometimes the same. Today we will be looking at the double migration. It's the migration story of John Jandali. He migrated twice to the United States of America within 11 years. John Jandali was born in 1931 in his hometown homes in Syria, which was destroyed during the civil war in 2011. He had a good life in Syria because his father was a self-made millionaire, so he didn't have any economical problems. Due to his economical advantage, he had many opportunities in life. When he came to the point of choosing university, John Jandali wanted to study law, but his father didn't want him to study law because he said that there are too many lawyers in Syria. Therefore, in the 1950s, John Jandali decides to migrate to Lebanon, precisely to Beirut, to continue his studies in economical and political science. He spent three and a half years in Lebanon. During the time in which he was at the university, he was an activist for the Algerian independence, since Algeria wanted to be independent from France. He wasn't part of a particular group of activists, he was just a supporter of the Arab unity and Arab independence. Due to his protests, he even spent three days in prison, but he still describes Beirut as the city where I spent the best days of my life. In 1952, John Jandali was forced to flee Beirut due to protests for the resignation of the Lebanese president al Kahari. But what was going on? During the Arab-Israeli war, Lebanon was fighting on the Arab side. This war caused a huge economic drop and an influx of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian refugees. These two factors, added to the corrupt administration of the Lebanese president al Kahari, caused many demonstrations and many people to flee. Instead of following the rest of the migrants fleeing from Lebanon to Europe, he decides to migrate to the USA, precisely to New York, for his first time. Even though there was a Syrian Quota Act limiting Syrian migration into the USA, he didn't have any particular problems for migrating into the USA because he spoke English and he graduated at an American university. He was traveling on his own and in the USA he lived with the Syrian ambassador to the United Nations. In New York he got a scholarship which made it possible for him to get the PhD in Economical and Political Science. At the Wisconsin University he even met his first wife, Joanna Schiebler. In summer 1954, she got pregnant, but her father was Catholic and very conservative and didn't want her to get a child from him because he was Muslim. Therefore, they had to give the child up to adoption in San Francisco. However, a few years later, John John Daly regrets this decision because his son is Steve Jobs. When he got a PhD in Economical and Political Science, he divorced from his first wife and migrated back to Syria. In Syria, he tried to get a job in the Syrian government. But during the six and a half years in which he was in Lebanon and in the United States of America, things changed negatively and he didn't get a job in the Syrian government. Therefore, he had to work for almost five years in his father's oil refinery. In 1961, he decides to migrate back to the USA, this time permanently, in Reno, Nevada. Also, this time he didn't have any particular problems by migrating into the USA since he already lived there before. In the first few years, he worked as assistant professor for political science at the Michigan University. However, a few years later, he had enough of his career at the university and opened his own Mediterranean restaurant in Silicon Valley. And Steve Jobs, his biological son, went to his restaurant without knowing that the owner of the restaurant was his biological father. Uh, he says, I wish you could have seen me when I was running a bigger restaurant. I used to run one of the best restaurants in Silicon Valley. It was a big Mediterranean restaurant. Everybody used to come there. Even Steve Jobs used to eat there. It turns out he managed or owned a restaurant. And I was in that restaurant once or twice. And I remember meeting the owner who was from Syria. And it was most certainly him. And I shook his hand, and he shook my hand, and that's all. In 1996, John Jandali started working as manager at the Boomtown Casino Hotel in Reno. And in 2012, he retired as vice CEO. In 2006, he married for the second time, and today he's still living in Reno, Nevada. I have tried to organize an interview with him to get some more information about his life in the USA after 1961, but due to coronavirus, this couldn't happen. I don't know if it would have happened if we didn't have this problem with coronavirus, but I think that the most important thing is that 
I was motivated to do it and that I tried it. However, I hope you enjoyed this video about John Jandali's migration story that, in my opinion, partly changed technology's world.